Uh, hey guys, welcome to the channel. Magic Jellybean here. Um, quickly, before we get into the live commentary that I recorded, I just wanted to go over, you know, my general first impressions um, right here, you know, without playing. That way I can kind of gather my thoughts. Um, so first things first, yes, there were AI. I know a lot of people are, you know, asking about AI, AI, there's going to be more AI in 8v8. Um, yes, there were there were more AI, but honestly, it wasn't really too noticeable. There was AI before in 5v5, so that's not really an issue. Um, this might be due to la larger player count, but um, it kind of felt a little laggier. You know, not by seconds, but, you know, it felt a little smidge slower, um, you know, less than real time as it normally did in 5v5. But keep in mind, you know, this is kind of in testing phase, so they haven't really had years to optimize this change, you know, since the nerf to 5 versus 5 player match. So I don't really mind. I'm sure, you know, over the course of maybe half a month or so, they can probably nail that down pack just like they did in the past. Um, so most of the negatives I have are really nitpicky. Um, personally, um, I'm not going to really bias this based on 2014, 2015 Robocraft, even though I did play that and thoroughly love the AV8 and 11 vs 11 elimination. Um, but this was definitely a breath of fresh, fresh air and free jam. I applaud you 100%. Um, a few players, you know, I've seen on forums, um, they do say it's kind of chaotic, but to be fair, I really don't mind. Um, there, you know, there's six, we're playing with 16 players on maps that were optimized for 10 players. Um, so I was pretty happy with it, cons you know, considering that variable. Um, a lot of, nip, you know, nitpicky things I had will probably be fixed, you know, um, everything that I'm about to list out will probably be fixed, you know, with proper map size that will allocate, you know, a full 16 players. Um, so another con that I found, which I, I will actually mention in the video as well, live stream is the energy um it's really more apparent when i was healing um, but i definitely felt you know that with the increase in player size i never really had enough energy for a fight um it takes a lot of energy to kill a robot already you know even without destroying them um so you know having three more possible encounters that can happen at any given time on the battlefield sometimes it was a little annoying i'm not annoying in the bad way it's just like annoying as in you know i wish i had more energy to deal with this new threat um you know because i'm always out of energy um and even though energy is a nice feature and I actually prefer it over the you know hold left mouse button down and spam which kind of made lasers overpowered in the past um, it's definitely a welcome addition you know it'll like I said it'll probably get fixed with bigger maps anyways uh, because objectives will be further away or you, you may have more objectives to fight over maybe they'll increase it to five instead of three towers who knows um, so you'll have plenty of time you know to recharge your energy in between battles um, but if you know if map size kind of if it's really gonna stay relatively the same I would kind of I would advise, you know, that you just give, you know, buff every single weapon's energy by like 20 or 30, or just give us a bigger energy pool, you know, that way we just have more energy to deal um, with other oncoming threats. Um, and that's really all I had for the cons, um, you know, it's really just map size will kind of fix it, um, and you know, player size as well. You know, not having mixed tiers. I didn't really experience that much mixed tiers. I was playing during peak hours. I was on about 4 to 6 p.m. So I, I, you know, I saw a lot of T5, T4s. I didn't really run into any T2, T3 players. I'm sure I will later on in tonight, or if I ever live stream, say on a Saturday. Um, I'm sure if I live stream all day, I'll run into T2s eventually because you know it can't always be peak time. Um, but here's a couple pros. Um, one pro, and this is probably a little biased, but nanos were really, really fun. Um, I've spent countless of games, you know, running around with plane and nanos just constantly, uh, just having a blast. And by the way, I really love that that top speed nerf for the wings. I, I definitely, I thought 5% was going to be much, but that, that really surprised me. And I definitely didn't see that coming. So the thing is with nanos, having seven potential people to heal instead of four is a huge difference. Also, you know, using a nano only build in five, five versus five, it kind of sucked. Um, you know, being a nano only build because typically it was better to have some kind of off offensive presence in a gunfight. Um, so, you know, being a nano healer was basically kind of like doing four versus five. So, with more players, a nano bot fits in more, and the ratio, you know, the ratio of offensive fire firepower in each team was was more balanced. You know, it was it was seven on eight instead of you know being a four and five, which is you know bigger percentage increase. Um, so being a na you know a nano only healer in a way was kind of subject subjectively buff if you want to think about it that way and I certainly dig it. Um, you know with the two second cooldown I still feel a little useless at times compared to back in the day when medics were necessary because we didn't have auto heal. Um, but it's certainly a welcome change. Um, and one thing I did notice is there were a lot more aeroflak and mortar uses not by much. 
Um, but I definitely noticed a lot more. This is probably due to the recent balance changes that happened with Aeroflack. And, you know, more players on a team means there's more possibility you're going to run into it anyway. So not really a big deal. Um, one thing that did kind of bug me, though, was the rotor nerf. Um, granted, I was using T2 rotors, you know, in T5 fights, which you'll see in the video. Anyways, the Aeroflack, you know, if you saw it, destroyed my rotors in about one or two shots, even without stacking. Um, I'm not sure if this is the case for T4 rotors. I'm sure it won't be since they have way more health. Uh, but it's definitely worth noting that rotor builds are a little on the weaker side, especially with the, again, a, a jilly nerf um, and your ability to carry less mass. Um, so I do recommend having hybrid movement parts just in case. Um, overall, I'm still kind of I'm still satisfied with where rotors are at, considering I was using T2 rotors in a T5 fight. Um, when playing, you know, smart using cover, it really wasn't too bad at all fighting Aeroflack. I mean, if you saw I was popping in and out of cover, I even managed to kill. I think one or two of them in that one match that I had, so, uh, you know, gone are the days of high altitude plasma spam, pretty much. You just have to play smarter, and you know what, I actually like that. Um, so the rest of the video, it pretty much speaks for itself, so I just want to end here um, really quickly. Thank you so much, Freed Champ. I really do, I really do celebrate that you were willing to spend some development time just to get this test phase in. And, you know, I 100% back you up when I say that in the near future, I certainly recommend that you keep this in the game. Um, it really felt like a lot of life was brought back to the game. And in my opinion, large-scale warfare progression and building are, tr the, you know, they're really the magic three pillars that hold this game up. I say it, I've said it in other videos. Um, so, as far as you, the viewer, just look forward to more streams and lots. I'm going to play this tons. So just look forward to lots of recorded gameplay. I'm going to be playing this like a dog just to make the absolute best final thoughts review I can you know, on Sunday or Monday, never have time when this is over, so uh, thank you again, Free Jam, even the coders, the people that just code the game in the back, or whatever they do, just thank you so much for spending time to do this, and, I, you know, we the player base, certainly, we certainly, certainly, certainly thank you so much for what you did, and we, I do hope that you continue this in the future, so until the next time, enjoy the rest of the video, I am your host, Amachi Jellybean, bye. Hey, what's going on everyone? Your host, Magic Jellybean here. We're, I'm really excited. Let me just say that. We're going to be testing 8 versus 8. If you, oh, man, guys, you guys definitely should get on this over the course of, you know, from Thursday to, I believe this ends on Monday. Just give them a lot of feedback, because this game definitely needs the player base back. Um, and, you know, the problems will pretty much fix itself. Q times, um, I know that they've made adjustments for Q times, um, but, you know, if player count is back, then Q times don't really matter, because um, I'm sure nobody minds, you know, waiting an extra 20 30 seconds just to get a game if it's a proper game size that's all that really matters is that the core experience never changes so make sure you support free jam you know in their venture to do this a lot of people are being way too negative and this is you know this kind of thing that discourages developers so um, just help them out you know constructive criticism uh, and we can tell obviously those are AIs on the enemy team because they're all bronze rank one diesel soda William and Nader and they have but they've all got one build with low CPU so those are probably AI Gigahorse 12 looks like maybe, but his boss is Rail Sprinter, so who knows? Chain and Spikes, No Hands Gamer, that's definitely an AI. And Winter Taco, mm, probably an AI too. You know what? I'm a medic. I shouldn't be going by myself, but that's okay. Oh wow, planes are so much faster now. Wow, planes are so much faster. Well, let's go find out who needs... Um... Oh my gosh, this plane's so fast now. I literally just put out a video, and this plane was not flying this fast. I need to get used to this. Holy crap. Oh my gosh, this plane's so fast. Winter Taco's an AI, so I'm not really going to try and save him. We need to find out where all the players are. This is No Hands Gamer, he's an AI. Let's see what Delta Squad's doing. We gotta get this base back. Uh, Irk Serve is definitely a player, so I'm gonna help him out. Come on, dude. I put a shield down for you. Uh oh, Giggle Horse needs some help.
Holy crap. This is intense. There's like players everywhere. I know I'm gonna get targeted, so. We need to capture this base, but I need to help my teammates too. Oh man, I gotta get used to this fire being faster. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and heal up real quick. Well, my teammates are full. Dude, how are these... The latency, you can definitely tell the difference between latency because I'm... They're like, they're dying really fast and it's very laggy, kind of. Uh oh, he needs help. Yeah, let's get out of there. Gigahertz has a really bad build, so there's kind of no point in helping him. Yeah, see, his build's kind of bad. Uh, that's okay. Let's heal up real quick. This is why I love fast builds like this, because I can, you know, I can just zip in and out really quickly. Yeah, see, his build's kind of bad, so can't really help him there. Let's go help this guy. And this is what I mean, though. The latency's kind of weird. Nice save from this guy here. I'm literally, I'm just not used to this being so fast. Let's go help him out real quick. Get it. Oh my gosh, dude, really? Whatever. Get a burst in real quick. Let's go help this guy out. This guy's just getting shredded up. Yeah, this guy just has a really nice build, so not really much you can do there. And I'm gonna attack, so I'll be right back. Heal up! That's okay, because I'm gonna heal up. And yeah, my team's kinda bad, I'm not gonna lie. They're they're a little Like I'm I'm really I'm doing a really good job healing. See I'm gonna heal up. This is pretty nice though. It's very hectic. Um, but then again, like I said, it's because maps are kind of small, so 
To be expected, I'm gonna let this guy die. Uh, because this bot's kind of finished now. Yeah, see, like, these guys are just getting shredded up by... They need to get out of here. I don't know why they continue to, uh... See, he's at like half health. I can't, I can't heal him that fast. I'm gonna. S it's better to heal in burst, cause then your shots won't miss as much. Drop a GG, I guess. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that one. Our team was kind of, um, you know, it's really weird when you have AIs mixed together with the uh, actual players. Oh, but look at that, 15,000 heal damage. Holy cow. The thing about, you know, when you fight... Wow, look at that. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and upvote myself there. The thing is, when you have, you know, 8 versus 8... Um, the cool thing is that, you know, it's 8 versus 8. The, the weird thing is that since you have energy bars now, it's like you get into so many engagements that you always need energy. So, you know, one thing I'd probably implement is just giving everything a really, really big energy boost. Um, because as you can see, you know, I just had to heal everybody and it's just not working. It definitely hurts when you run out of energy. It just makes it a little less exciting. Um, sp uh, but let's continue. On to the next game. Just one second. Alrighty guys, I'm back. I had to go somewhere. Not that you knew, because this probably just looks like a cut to you, but the next build I'm going to use, this one I call um, not meta, hashtag not meta. Uh, this is basically a drone block spam build. Um, I made this just to, as a joke when they, you know, nerfed cube health. This is a joke, you know, to show people that, <laughs> you know, uh, the cube health, cube health buff, I'm sorry, was definitely real, and I just kind of want to make, you know, fun of it. And this is basically what meta is. Um, I have this giant gun here. Instead of using a shield, I find it more useful to have this just giant gun as extra firepower. It's actually inspired by somebody else I saw flying around with this. They had kind of a different setup, but it's essentially the same thing. Uh, rotors in the back. And yeah, we're going to see how um, badly, you know, rotors were nerfed. Um, I, you know what? Let me test this just to make sure I can fly, because I know that the carrying mass was reduced. Um, but I do have a propeller on the bottom, so it should be more than enough lift just to get off the ground. But like I said, what the heck is that? All right, so this thing is a little, uh, a little more heavy, but that's okay. Felt really weird turning that, so I'm gonna go ahead and jump into battle here. See you there. Uh, we got AIs. Let's see. Uh, GL1. Uh, no, that's silver. That can't be an AI. Uh, Balib, probably an AI. It's T4 there. Uh, let's see. Do they have any healers? They have a mortar, which is nice. I'm going to pick on that mortar a lot. Um, they got two arrow flax. Oh, God. <laughs> this is a bad game. And as you can see, I have the... Um, and it's team deathmatch. Oh, God. They're literally just going to, like... 
So basically what I have to do, since they have mortars on their team, I'm just gonna ha kinda have to sit here and hide. Oh yeah, you can definitely see how heavy this thing is. We basically have to get close to them. Yeah, see, look. I'm basically gonna have to camp them. Yeah, see. Yeah, and see, that's pretty much what's gonna happen. Yeah, and he's just clean up crew, so. Yeah, we're, we're kind of bound to lose this game because they have Aeroflax. See, he's using Tesla's with Aeroflax. That's literally what I don't need. But, but what we're going to do here is we're just going to... Dude, did my altitude get nerfed? I mean, what's... There we go. Oh my gosh, this Aeroflack is taking out my rotors way too fast. Four. Oh god. No, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Try and get this guy. Yeah, see, these mortars are just messing me up. Ah, oh, man. Probably gonna need bigger mortars. So that's all I have to do, I just have to stay. Go ahead and get my mega weapon back. Come on, come on, populate. Go ahead and kill this guy. Uh, throw it on a little GG. I'm not gonna lie, I thought we were gonna lose that game. Um, but that's pretty nice. Um, I guess they didn't have enough Aeroflax. Well, the fact that you know they were using Aeroflax is kinda... You know, that's pretty cool. I'm, I'm going to give that one a like. But... Yeah, let's just get... <laughs> oh, so yeah, drone, you know, compact cubes, definitely... It hurts being them. Maybe it's because, you know, the air flak buff is new. Um, so people are just running it more, but... I mean, even in regular games, it's going to be a little tougher. But that's good, because now, you know, rotors are more susceptible. If you're in a plane, you can kind of get away easier. I have this, uh, this... Basically a speeder. <laughs> It's got a rotor, so um, yeah. It's 
hopefully, you know, the next game nobody's going to be really using, um, nobody's going to be using Aeroflack that much, but I, I'm usually not in the air with this build anyway. We've got, uh, one healer, his name's Deviant, so I'm going to make sure I protect Deviant. Um, we've got Aeroflack and Mortar, <laughs> solid combo. <laughs> and they don't, they have one healer, Hardcore, oh god, Hardcore. Oh, that guy's pretty good, um, you can't see him, but he's this guy right here in the top right corner. He always has some really amazing builds. Um, I've seen him playing in T2 a lot, you know, with drones, before I guess they got nerfed. And look at this, we got multiple platoons. Oh my gosh, really? Oh my. Every single time, man. Every single time. So yeah, uh, let's see, can this rotor still carry me? Yeah, it still can. Um, so it's not that bad. And this is Battle Arena, so this is perfect. Like I said, jump drive in case I, um... Who's Deviant? He's our medic, so oh my gosh. He only has like three guns. Yep. Oh god. Yep, we're getting out of here. Uh, I got one leg. These motors are gonna really hurt us. Man, I lose a lot of speed when I only have one leg. Holy crap. Let's stay up here where we have a chant. Oh my gosh, is this really what it's gonna be like? Just them using mortar spam all day? Okay, let's just go where the team is. Make sure, you know, we support where we have a better chance of winning. Get out of here. Let's go ahead and help him. There we go. Bam. Perfect. Yeah, as you can see, this railgun hits like a truck. I know I probably should be scoping in, but... Oh my god. There we go. We have some pretty good healers on our team. We basically just want to keep these bases capped. I'm trying not to use my blink unless I absolutely need it. Oh my god. Looks like I need it. Okay, let's just go ahead. Yeah, like I said, whenever I get a chance I'm always taking hardcore out. Because Hardcore always has some pretty nice builds. Making sure nobody's coming. Yeah, this is really epic. I'm, I'm loving this now. This 8 versus 8. There we go. Where's Hardcore at?
Get rid of that guy. Most important thing is the objective. So yeah, we're actually, we're getting this. I, you know, I, with Hardcore being on the other team, I really thought that we were going to get wrecked, but, you know, the thing is, when you have more players on a team, um, oh man, I was about to go shoot their base. There we go. Yeah, Mortar Jordan's not going to work when we have Mortars. Thanks, man. I really like this guy. The fact that he's sticking with me here. Take out his wheels. That way he can't drive anywhere. All right, we're gonna get out of here. That's exactly what the drunk drive is for. <laughs> you know, we need to take some bases. We're uh. Oh god, that was a really bad aim. Yeah, they're really trying to get me. Oh man, my aim is a little trash today. That's okay. Oh man. There we go.
Got him. Uh oh. Time to get out of here. Look at my jump. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Drop a little GG. They won because of that. I should have got on point. I didn't realize it was so close. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. But hey, there you go. That's That was pretty epic. I mean, I have not recorded a game like that in a while. Let's go ahead and just upload him because he's our teammate. Um, but I will admit, they had some pretty nice builds. Sort of. I don't know why he has shields back there in the back, but that's okay. Um, this dude was pretty nice. It was a... I don't know how he was able to fire mortar with rotors, um, but you know somehow it worked. Uh, this guy was just a mortar drone. Um, that's that's really no good because you know if you f if you fight another mortar, he's just going to mortar you and kill you. So, I mean, if if it works, it's just it's based on the matchup, I guess. But hey, guys, that was the first impression. Um, look out for a ton of epic gameplay, kind of like this. But yeah, this was pretty epic. It was a little chaotic that time with the railgun. I didn't feel like I needed energy that much. Maybe it's because I was aware, you know, self-aware of that, and I was just kind of pacing myself more. But yeah, I mean, overall, sorry, I'm just eating these skittles. <laughs> Bad. That's pretty, pretty terrible video quality, huh? But yeah, overall, um, it's it's pretty fun. Eight v eight. It's just amazing. I really hope they keep this. I hope that they keep this in the future. Definitely, 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 definitely check this out. I am your host of Magic Building. Thanks for tuning into this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, do all that normal stuff that YouTubers say to do. And um, yeah, till next time, see you in the next one. Bye. And I might be live streaming this later too, but who knows?